在过去几年，中国移民在美国的移民法庭上申请庇护获批准的几率呢，逐年上升。那在二零一二年，有一从一万多申请人中呢，有接近一半人获得批准。那么申请庇护的具体的程序是怎么样的呢？我们今天为您请来的是王明武律师事务所的移民律师 Cameron， 请他来给我们解答一下。Cameron, welcome. So, how soon do I can I turn into uh, uh, submit my application to apply for asylum once I enter in the United States? Well, once you're in the United States, you generally have one year to submit an asylum application. Mm -hmm. uh, this means that you know the moment you get here, your entry, you have one year from that from that date under normal processing of an asylum application. Uh, generally, a lot of people who are on B2 status, you know, want to do that before their visa expires. But as you can apply for asylum when your after your visa expires, you still have the one year mark. There is a possibility, and I've had a client. Mm -hmm. Submit an application beyond the one-year point, but you have to have really good reasons for immigration for them to grant your application for not applying within the normal time period. How long is the process? I mean, what what is it? Uh, what's the procedure like? Well, there's actually uh, that's kind of a loaded question because right. immigration actually has two tracks. The normal track is, you know, first of all, everybody submits their asylum application and they give you a receipt. Now, I've gone to immigration and asked them, you know, is there a specific timeline for how these work? And what they've told me was, a lot of people when they submit their application are going to be given an interview relatively quickly within a few months after mm -hmm. they do their fingerprinting and biometric screening. Mm -hmm. But everybody else who's not one of the people that's selected for an interview early will have to wait a very long time for their interview, and it's really just luck of the draw. Um, I have a, I have clients that have been waiting for over a year for their interview, and I've had clients who, within a month, got an interview date. So you know, it's very difficult. I know for applicants to to be on edge for waiting periods of almost up to one year, sometimes more. One of my clients, for example, already had his second interview, but he's waiting. He's been waiting for over a year for the result. Mm -hmm. They're backlogged at the asylum office, so the only real way for you to to guarantee that, and when I say guarantee, I mean that very loosely, that they're going to receive your application is to do it as soon as you can, just so you can get that receipt date to know that your application is being processed. So if if the wait is going to be long, uh, can I can I work? Uh, uh, that's that's a that's an excellent question. Um, no. Often t the rule for uh, getting your employment authorization through asylum is five, 150 days or five months after you get the receipt date of your uh, uh, the, re the date of receipt that your asylum application has been received, you can apply for an employment authorization. You talked about th the process can be very long. Uh, and I think one of the frustrating thing for people is they turn in the application, they get mm -hmm. received, but they don't hear anything after that for a long period of time. How can they find out about the status of the application? That's an interesting question, and I actually probably spend more time answering that question than doing the application itself <laughs> with people that are justifiably upset that they've it's been over a year since they've submitted an application. And, right. and why can't you just call immigration? Why can't you just email them? Why can't you just write a letter? And they've actually told me the only way you can check your status is if you or your attorney goes to the immigration office, fills out a form, sits in line, and then they will tell you the, the status of your case. They won't tell you when they're going to get to your case, but they'll either tell you it's, it has been approved or it's being approved or it's still in processing. So unlike the other immigration uh, applications where you can submit uh, a receipt number online and you can find out. Asylum applications are confidential, so oftentimes what happens is they'll, they'll withhold information online and make you or, or your attorney find out the date uh, in which you can uh, know your case status. Uh, what if I want to travel or I need to travel mm -hmm. outside of the United States? Not going back to the country, home country, uh -huh. but just to travel to other country. In short, Probably not, and I'll explain why. While you're applying for asylum, you are a citizen of your home country, mm. and <clears throat> if you apply outside of the United States, you're you're going to have to re-enter the United States. If you're out of status on your passport um, for re-entering the United States, then you are obviously not going to be granted entry back into the country. Right. If your visa is still good, just also remember that you have a visa to go from your home country to the United States. Mm -hmm. So it's going to become very difficult for you to travel back and forth. Well, great. Thank you so much.
本资讯由王明武律师事务所赞助提供。